In this tutorial, we'll be looking at half equations and how to write them. So a half equation is used to show the transfer of electrons, or E minus is their symbol in a reaction. So the transfer of electron happens when atoms become ions and when ions become atoms again. In these reactions, electrons can be lost or gained. And at the bottom here is an example of a half equation showing the electrons. Okay? Hopefully you're already familiar with what a half equation looks like. When we're thinking about the transfer of electrons or the loss and the gain of electrons in a half equation, we can describe this as oxidation and reduction. We can use the term oil rig to help us to think about this. What this tells is that oxidation is the loss of electrons and reduction is the gain of electrons. Okay, So oil rig helps us to remember that oxidation is the loss of electrons, reduction is the gain of electrons. If you're finding it difficult to think about oxidation and loss as the oxidation is lost, sorry, and reduction is gain in terms of electrons, what we can do is we can start to think of it in terms of the equation. So here, electrons on the right of the equation after the arrow show that they are being lost, which means oxidation is happening. Electrons on the left of the equation before the arrow shows they are being gained, which means reduction is happening. Firstly, we're going to look at a couple of examples of oxidation reactions and the half equations for oxidation. In this example, we're going to look at the half equation for a copper atom on the left here, becoming a copper 2 ion. This 2 just refers to the 2 plus charge there. First thing we have to do is we have to check that we have the same number of atoms on the left and the right. And because there are no big numbers in front, it means we have the same number of atoms. We have one copper atom on each side of the equation, so we're okay. Next thing to do is to look at the charge. We can see there's no charge on the left-hand side, and there's a 2 plus a positive charge on the right-hand side. So we can represent this as 0 on the left, and plus 2 on the right. Next thing we need to do is we need to look at which side has the most negative charge, the lowest charge. So 0 and plus 2, so obviously 0 has the lowest charge. We now need to make the right hand side equal 0. The only way we can do that is by adding electrons. So we add that with the symbol E minus. Every electron has a 1 minus charge, okay? but we can see here that we've got plus 2 and we need to make it equal 0. So I actually need two electrons over on the right hand side. So I have 2 plus minus 2 equals 0. So the charge is now balanced. And again this is oxidation because the electrons are on the right and they're being lost. In this example, we've got the oxide ion becoming an oxygen molecule. So again, first thing, let's check that we've got the same number of atoms on each side. So here on the left, we have one oxygen atom, and over on the right, we have two. So I need to balance those. So I'm going to do that with a two. So I have the same number of atoms on each side. Next, let's look at the charge. I've got a minus two charge, but I actually have two of those. So that's 2 times minus 2, which means the left-hand side has a charge of minus 4. The right-hand side has no charge. There's no positive or negative number. So over on the right-hand side, I have a charge of 0. Again, I'm going to look for the side with the lowest charge, the most negative charge. So that here is the left-hand side with minus 4 as opposed to 0 on the right-hand side. I need to make the right-hand side now have a negative charge that equals minus 4 on the left. So again, the only way to do that is to add electrons. And I need a charge of minus 4, so I need 4 electrons. So over on the right-hand side, I have 0, minus 4, equals minus 4, and which means that the charge on both sides is equal. Again, this is an example of oxidation because the electrons are on the right-hand side, meaning that they're being lost. Now let's look at some reduction examples. 
So in this, rea in this reaction, sorry, we're going to look at a chlorine molecule becoming a chloride ion. Again, first job, let's make sure we have the same number of atoms on each side. So over on the left, I have two chlorine atoms, and over on the right, I have one chloride ion. So I need to make that balance first by putting a two in. Now I've got the same number of atoms on each side. I need to look at the charge. So the charge over here on the left is zero because there's no positive or negative numbers. So the left hand side is neutral with zero. Over on the right I have a one minus charge but I have two of them. So that means that the right hand side has a charge of minus two. Again Let's have a look at which side has the lowest charge. And in that case, it's the right-hand side with minus 2. The left-hand side is 0. So I need to make both sides equal minus 2 now. The only way to do that is to add negative electrons. And I need to add them to the left-hand side. So I'm going to add electrons. Each electron has a charge of minus 1. I need 2. So I have 0, minus 2 equals minus 2, so which means that both sides now equal minus 2. This is an example of reduction because my electrons are on the left, meaning that they're being gained, so it is a reduction reaction. So one final example of a half equation. Again, we're going to show reduction. We're going to look at the sodium ion, Na+, becoming a sodium atom. First thing, Let's look at the number of atoms. Over on the left, I have one sodium ion, and over on the right, I have one sodium atom. So the number of sodium balance on each side. Now I need to look at the charge. So over on the left-hand side, I have a positive one charge. So the left-hand side is plus one. And the right-hand side doesn't have a pos positive or negative number, so now that is neutral. Again, I need to look at both sides and see which side, left or right hand side, has the lowest charge. And in that case, this is zero. And we have plus one on the left. So I now need to make the left hand side of the equation the same as the right. So I need to bring the left hand side down to zero. Again, I'm going to do that by adding an electron. So here I have plus 1, minus 1 equals 0, so my charge on both sides balances. Again, this is an example of reduction reaction because electrons are on the left, meaning they're being gained, so reduction is happening. Here are some further questions for you to have a go at. There are five altogether, as you can see. Number five, with the hydroxide ion becoming oxygen and water, is a little bit more difficult. So. When you're ready, stop the video and then continue to find the answers. So, here are the answers then. We've got the first question. Here, electrons are on the right. So, right-hand side means oxidation is happening. In the second example, we've got electrons on the left, meaning that they're being gained. So, that means reduction is happening. And again, in number three, we've got electrons on the left-hand side, meaning they're being gained. So we've got reduction happening. And in example four, we've got electrons on the right, meaning they're being lost. So oxidation is happening. And then question five, again, our electrons are on the right-hand side, meaning that oxidation is happening to finish us off. Okay, I hope you found that useful.